Hey Trail Riders, welcome back to The Daily Ride. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are enjoying this new format. I certainly am. It's really good. I'm hoping that it's encouraging you. I'm hoping that you're getting some good out of this. If you'll notice that the scriptures that I give you at the beginning that are in, in, in this box, it's here. Uh, th these scriptures, if you'll continue to read through those every day as we, we do these at, at the end of these this particular study that we're doing, you'll have read through the Bible in a year, and we'll have done it together. Today we're going to, those scriptures for today are going to be Isaiah chapter 57, verses 14, through chapter 60, verse 16. Psalm 119, verses 1 through 4, Proverbs 24, 17 and 18, and Philippians 2, 12 through 30. Today we're going to be talking about God uh, doing His will now. Our scripture is going to come from Philippians chapter 2, verse 13. It says, For it is God who is working in you, is enabling you to both, des both to desire and to work out His good purpose. God has a purpose for each and every one of us. Theologians are divided about whether the statement of, the, of Jesus in the Lord's Prayer should be translated in earth as it is in heaven or on earth as it is in heaven. We decided to examine both propositions, and today we look at the words on earth. Most commentators believe the phrase has reference to the world of human beings who have their home on this earth. In other words, us. Fantastic as it may sound, a day will dawn when the earth will have be peopled by those who will do the will of God, and not with resentment or resignation, but with rejoicing. That day may not be too far off in the distance, and it may, may not be too far distant as we may think. So we ought to double our efforts in prayer and joyously become involved and bringing our lives in line with his will. One thing is sure, the more you and I confirm and conform to his will, the more quickly can his purposes on this earth be realized. John Wesley famously said, God does nothing redemptively in the world except by prayer. Can you see what he is saying? The purposes of God in, for the future will have to cross the bridge of prayer. This raises a question. How committed are you and I to doing the will of God? Are you hindering or are you promoting the interest of the future kingdom? It is vital that we Christians, both individually and corporately, focus our prayers on the, this issue with fervency and passion, remembering as we do so that the more we abandon, we are to divine, we are to the divine will, the more speedily his purposes will come to pass in this world. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, in light of the challenge today, we feel like praying, Your will be done on earth, in us, as it is done in heaven. Grant it, Father. We pray, and the honor and the glory go to your precious name. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, guys. For further study, we're going to be looking at Matthew chapter 3, John 8, 29, 1 Thessalonians 4, 1, and Hebrews 13, 16, and we're going to have these two questions in mind. What was the pronoun pronouncement from heaven? What was the pronouncement from heaven? Two, could this be said of your life? Something to think about. God bless you guys, and I'll see you on the next trail ride.